regular reggae uh, is, well it's like a reggae where we if you if you want to google some reggae songs and have a listen to the feel of it tends to uh, accent counts two and four which is what this uh, this song does so it's it, it's a reggae um, I'm just gonna go through two bars at a time and talk the phrase the notes through that you need to be able to play or need to play to to achieve the piece so the very first bar starts with two big E's, then a G, then a big B, then a big E again. E, E, G, B, E. Then we've got the chord. It's spelling out an E minor chord. And the notes are G on the third string open, B on the second string open, and E on the first string open. So E, E, G, B, E chord, then another chord in the next bar, and then a third chord. So the phrase all together, E, E, G, B, E, chord, chord, chord. So that's then repeated in bars <clears throat> three and four, the same thing, E, E, G, B, E, chord, chord, chord. Now we've got the same phrase, we move up a fourth. So rather than starting on E, we start on A with the A minor chord. So A, A, fifth string open, C, third fret of the fifth string, middle E, second fret of the fourth string, then big A again on the fifth string open. Now the chord, whereas with the E minor chord we didn't fret anything, we're going to need to fret two notes. E, uh, A, sorry, A, second fret of the third string, C, first fret of the second string and then the E is open. So A, A, C, E, big A again, chord, chord, chord. So that, those are bars seven and eight. A, A, C, E, A, chord, chord, A, C, and E, chord. Now in bars uh, nine and 10, hang on, no, I, I call them seven and eight. Those were bars five and five and six. The A, A, C, E, A chord. Then in bars seven and eight, we go back to the beginning again. E, E, G, B, E chord, chord, chord. So <clears throat> that's like the theme of it. Then when we come back down to bar nine, we, we've got uh, two E's, Two D's and a B. E, E, D, D, B. Then our little phrase, E, E, G, B, E. So those are bars nine and ten. E, E, D, D, B. E, E, G, B, E. Then in bars 11 and 12, C, C, B, A, 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 A sharp. That's that, uh, that uh, noughts and crosses sign in front of the A there. We've got two A's on count three and then the A sharp there. And then as we go into bar 12, B, 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 big B, G. And then that takes us into, um, well, bar 13 is big E twice. Then the chord, then another chord, then big A in bit bar 14. And our chord of A, C, E, A, A chord, chord. Then we go to a B7 chord. Two fingers on, uh, your second fingers on the big B, second fret of the fifth string. And we play two notes together there, the A and the B. So that's spelling out a B7 chord. Big B, A and B. Another one of the A and B, and again. Then we come to G, F sharp, and the F sharp second fret of the sixth string. Then we've got our little phrase again. E, E, G, B, E, chord, 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 and it's done again. E, E, G, B, E, chord, 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 and then two E's to finish, and that's it. So it's, it's only those couple of phrases 
it's relatively simple, but you're going to need to know all of the notes all over the, the, the up to the third fret on every string. You're going to need, we will be playing on every string with this one. Regular reggae is, is it's not so hard time wise, but we need to capture the feel of reggae. And that's, well, a, a big part of it is pl playing a strong beat on two and four. And right off the bat in the second bar, we, we get into doing that. So I'll play the first two bars and count aloud. One and two and three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, one and two and three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, that's bars one and two. Now bars three and four are the same. One and two and three, four. One, two, three, four. Now the next bars five and six, we do change chord, but again it's the same rhythm. One and two and three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we come back to, in bars seven and eight, that same phrase. One and two and three, four, one, two, three, four. The same phrase that we started with. So I'll play... Uh, well, let's go down to bar nine. We'll, we'll learn it all, first of all. I'll go, I'll go through uh, and, and I'll count each of the bars through for you. And then I'll go back to the beginning and I'll, I'll count it through as I go so you can hear how it counts up. Now, into bar nine, we've got a rest, a quarter note rest, a crotchet rest on count one. And then two eight notes for the E's. One, two and three and four. Then in bar uh, 10, one and two and three, which is our, like our first bar. One and two and three, but no chord on count four. So bars nine and 10, one, two and three and four, one and two and three, four is a rest. So we start bar nine with a rest and we are in bar 10 with a rest. Uh, set now in bar 11, one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four. Then in bar 12, one and two, three, four. So bars 11 and 12, one and two, three and four, one and two, three, four. Uh, now as we go down to bar 13, one and two, three, four. One and two, three, four. Same rhythmic pattern, we just change chords. So we start bar 13 with an E minor chord. One and two, three, four. Bar 14 has the A minor chord. One and two, three, four. Bar uh, 15 and, well, yeah, bar 15 and 16 has the B7 chord. One and two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let me play from bars 13 through to 16. I think that's right, yeah. One and two, three, four. One and two, three, four. One and two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then as we come down to bar 17, one and two and three, four. Heard that before somewhere? Two, three, four, and it's done again. One and two and three. One, two, three, four, then one and two, three, four is the last bar. I'll go back to the top now and just follow as I play, follow the score, the, the music as I play, and I'll count aloud as I go through it. Three and four and one and two and three, four, one, two, three, four, one and two and three, four, one, two, three, four. Three, four, one and two, three, four, 
One, two, three, four. One and two and three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, the metronome marking is 112. So I'll play it through one more time. I won't count this time, but I'll just play in 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 step with the metronome. One, two, three, four. So that, that's the uh, speed that you should aim at, or the ideal speed to play it at. But uh, count it out as you go and spend some time trying to get, get an idea of how all of the, uh, the various rhythm fi rhythmic figures work in it, the eight notes opposed to the quarter notes, and you'll have a good performance. Now if we play this piece, or any piece, with all the right notes at the right time and in time, it's going to sound good. But we can always make it sound a little bit more interesting by putting some uh, interpretive devices in. Now, the three that we're going to talk about uh, with this and, and with all the pieces we like to, uh, to play, dynamics, timbre, and rubato. Now, dynamics is how loud or soft we play the note. Timbre is where we play the, the string on the string to, to give us the, uh, the texture. And rubato is about slowing down and it, it means rob time but slowing down at cadence points to announce the fact that, uh, that we're coming to the end of a phrase or the actual piece. So with dynamics, there's a little device, a little exercise, I should say, that I like you to go through regularly to, to develop an idea of how hard or soft you hit, should hit the string to achieve the dynamic grading. Now the six gradings, very soft, double P, pianissimo, soft, which is P, piano, MP, Mets of Piano, which is medium, soft. MF, Mets of Forte, Forte is loud, Mezzo is medium. MF, Mets of Forte, medium, loud. F, just the one F is loud. Double F, Fortissimo, which is very loud. Now, in the course of regular reggae, we've got medium, soft, loud, and very soft. We've, we're going to use those three. So the first eight bars are medium soft. Then bar nine, we have loud, but then we go back to medium soft for bar 10. Then we have loud for bar 11, then back to medium soft in bar, uh, bar 12. And then we have a crescendo in bar 13. And he's actually written the word crescendo, or the abbreviation of the word crescendo, which means gradually get louder. Sometimes they put the two lines and they gradually get further apart and that means gradually getting louder. Diminuendo is the other. Now uh, that's uh, and we have that that word there in bar 18 so we should be getting gradually softer to the end and in bar 20 we see the double P very soft and then the last two notes in the last bar forte. Something underneath that though is uh, uh, there are two little arrows under the last two notes you might notice and uh, they're, they're accents. Now, if you, sometimes my students turn up without their book. You know, what am I going to teach them? You know, how are we going to do the lesson? We get through it somehow. But at the end of the lesson, I'll say to them, maybe you know, next week, don't forget your book. And I'll put more emphasis on that word book to get the point that I'm trying to convey to the student. Don't forget your book next week. Um, you know, so uh, by putting that, that emphasis, put, gets the point across. And that's what those two arrows underneath the last two notes are. Their accent notes emphasize those two notes. Uh, with a reggae, the feel is one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two. So we emphasize two and four. 
Now here, he's put the accents under the first two notes on the first count, on one end. So that basically he's saying we're to break with that one, two, three, four, where we emphasize two and four in a reggae. Now the exercise, I'm going to talk through the six gradings that I just mentioned, and I'm going to play very soft. Soft. Medium soft. soft we need to hit the string to achieve the dynamic grading um, so I've, I'll go through the piece so the first eight bars as I say medium soft bar 9 has a loud bar 10 medium soft and then you know we've got the crescendo down in bar 13 uh, and then the, the diminuendo from bar 18 through to the end and very soft and then loud at the end so have a listen as I play it So that's how we, we approach those, uh, the dynamics. Um, now the next thing I'd like to talk about is timbre. Now if we play the string at the base of the sound hole, we get that sound. Up on the neck, we get that sound. Down on the bridge, we get that sound. Ponte, natural, dolce, tosto. They're the, they're the three you know, grady, well, the, the three timbral uh, textures that we get. Now on an electric guitar, we have a toggle switch to go between the, 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 the various pickups, but we don't have that on, on an acoustic guitar, so we need to move our arm, move our hand to achieve it. Now the first, first four bars, I might play at the natural position. So you heard the difference as I went up onto the neck for bars five through to eight. Now, the next bar, where, where, where I've got loud on bars nine and 11, I'll, I might come down to the bridge and then come back up to the neck, or I could even, position for the end so I think that's that's what I'd like to do so bars one through four up the natural position bars five through eight I'm going to go up to the neck to the dolce or tusto position and then bars nine through twelve I'll come down onto the bridge and then from there on in I'll, I'll come back up to the um, to the natural position and I might hit the, might hit the last two notes down on the bridge just for effect so let's have a listen to that but down on the bridge and get that sound. I play the G rather than the E, but that's that's the sound we're looking for. Now the third device that we'd like to uh, 
look at is slowing down at cadence points. Now, often the, the best, a good place to slow down is as we're getting to the end and we think of the train coming down the train line, he sees the station up in the, in the distance, so he gradually slows down so he has a smooth arrival at the platform. So the last, uh, from bar 17 to the end, might go like this. And hit that last note in time. So I think I'd like to do that as a, as a performance. So all of those little devices I spoke about, those three devices, looking at the, the dynamics, going to the, the various timbral positions, and then slowing down as I come to the end. Let's put them all together and see how much more interest we create in our performance. Here we go. See you on the next lesson.